Hello friends, in the last lecture we have studied a siloing condensation. In continuation of our last discussion, today we are going to study a siloing rearrangement also called alpha ketal rearrangement. Basically it is acid base or heat induced 1 to migration of an alkyl or aryl group in an alpha hydroxy ketone or aldehyde to produce an isomeric alpha hydroxy ketone or alpha hydroxy aldehyde. This is a reversible reaction. As a result, more stable alpha hydroxy carbonyl compound is favored. The major disadvantage of this reaction is that it cannot be used for the synthesis of unstable alpha hydroxy carbonyl compounds. Now we will discuss mechanism. Let's first discuss the mechanism in basic condition. In this base abstracts the alcoholic proton to form alkoxide ion which undergoes migration of group having greater migratory aptitude from alpha carbon to the carbonyl carbon to produce rearranged alkoxide ion which after protonation gives rearranged product. In acidic condition carbonyl oxygen undergoes protonation to form oxonium ion which undergoes migration of group having greater migratory aptitude from alpha carbon to the carbonyl carbon to produce rearranged oxonium ion which after deprotonation gives rearranged product. Now we will discuss some examples with detailed mechanism. Rearrangement of 2 hydroxy 1 2 3 triphenyl propane 1 own under basic condition. Let's go through the mechanism to understand the structure of the product. Ethoxide ion abstracts alcoholic proton to generate species A. In species A, there are two migratory groups, phenyl and benzyl. Phenyl group has greater migratory aptitude than benzyl. So, migration of phenyl group in a species A to ketonic group produces a species B which after protonation produces rearranged product. Rearrangement of 1 1 hydroxy 2 2 dimethyl cyclopentyl ethanone under basic condition. Base abstracts alcoholic proton to generate species A. Migration of greater substituted carbon in species A to keto group produces species B which after protonation produces rearranged six membered ring product. Rearrangement of 2 hydroxy 2 phenyl cyclopentanone in the presence of Lewis acid BF3. In this case, ketonic oxygen coordinates with Lewis acid to produce 
species A, which is having an activated ketone. In a species A, there are two groups that can migrate, phenyl group and ring residue. Here, ring residue preferentially undergoes 1 to shift to ketonic carbon to produce six membered ring species B because six membered ring is more stable than seven membered ring. Now, removal of Lewis acid produces product. Bridged acyloins also undergoes this type of rearrangement, often stereo specifically. In this case too, methoxide ion abstracts proton from alcoholic group to produce alkoxide ion A, which undergoes 1 to shift to produce rearranged alkoxide ion B. This alkoxide ion B can also be written like this. Now, alkoxide B after taking proton from solvent produces product. Steroidal ketals have been subjected to rearrangement conditions to give steroids of different ring sizes. These rearrangements often proceed with a high degree of stereo control. Acetyl protected alpha hydroxy aldehydes in the presence of paratoluene sulfonic acid undergoes acyloene type rearrangement to produce alpha alkoxy ketone. For example, 1,1-diethoxy-2-phenylpropane-2-all when heated in benzene in the presence of paratoluene sulfonic acid produces 1-ethoxy-2-phenylpropane-2-one. Let's go through the mechanism to understand this transformation. One of the two ethoxy groups of 1,1-diethoxy-2-phenylpropane-2-all gets protonated to produce species A which eliminates ethanol molecule to produce species B. Species B undergoes 1 to phenyl shift to generate species C which after deprotonation produces product.